Hello there everyone and welcome to the beautiful world of Mountain Blades 2. I'll be your host today, Johnny, as I'm going to show you how to conquer your first town or castle all by yourself in Bannerlord. I'm going to first get to the requirements, then I'll show you the strategy step by step and after that I'll teach you how to hold it for success. Alright ladies and gentlemen, well let's start and first thing first we have the requirements. These requirements are different based on what you want to conquer. And the requirements are the following. Four castles that have defenses up to 2 or 300 units, I'll suggest you to get 4 to 500 food, about 100k dinars, at least 80 to 100 tire 4 or 5 infantry troops, and make sure they have a shield equipped as well. You can also use top tier cavalry troops as well. Your prisoner slots must be fully equipped with at least tire 3 plus units, which are ready to be recruited. For rebel towns, things just increase a little bit. You'll need 500 plus food, about 100k dinars, 130 tire 4 5 infantry troops and your prisoners again must be ready to be recruited. And now let me show you exactly why you need all of that. Now the food. You basically need the food to just be prepared for a longer siege and you need to make sure that you can resist for more days than the castle or the town can. After you start the siege you will just have to wait until their food runs out and the garrison will perish automatically. After that you will have to build the trebuchets. Alright so here is the deal. Now what I would suggest you to do would be to build trebuchets and then once a trebuchet have been built you just pause the game, put it on reserve, then this way the castle catapults won't destroy it immediately and then keep on building the next trebuchet until you have 4 of them that you can attack with. After you got 4, pause the game again and place them all to attack at the same time. This way the trebuchets will destroy the catapults in most cases and then the walls of the castles as well. But here is the deal, this type of siege is riskier than the normal siege where you use battling rams. The reason of that is that it takes more time for the trebuchet strategy which means that you are exposed to other parties attacking you from outside while doing the actual siege. But the good thing is that if you break everything down then you have a higher success rate of winning the city since you can just enter the city through the walls. Alright and the troops now. Okay now let's imagine that you started the castle, you broke down the walls and now the only thing that you have to deal with is their militia or and maybe one or two other parties. Assumingly that no parties charged you while you were doing the siege as that's something that can happen so keep an eye out for that again. So what you'll need to do is to go to your prisoners and recruit them all even if your party capacity will be exceeded because it doesn't really matter. You will have more troops to attack with which is what's important and after you get the castle you can just release the troops that you don't need so I will suggest you to do that. Now the money. Now let's assume that you've conquered here the castle and now you are in war with a faction. If you are part of a kingdom or if the town that you conquered was a rebel town then you don't need money for anything. But here's the deal, if you conquer the castle or town and you are not part of a kingdom then that faction will just siege your castles with troops that you can't face so trust me. Use the money that you've made to make peace with them because this way they will leave you alone and you'll also keep the castle that you've conquered. Alright now let's assault here this castle and see if we'll be successful. And we were successful ladies and gentlemen, perfect. Now I just need to mention one thing again, trying to get a castle with this method will be riskier because you'll probably get attacked by other parties while sieging. But if you are fast enough then you might not. But I honestly believe that it's worth the risk. And here you have it guys, so thank you so much for watching, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like the video as well. Thank you. I also recommend you the next video that's gonna show up somewhere here on the screen. Thanks. See you soon.